excited to be doing the John Holland track. Now this track is the longest cut cart track in Australia. It was cut by John Holland in 1893 with three other blokes. And the idea of the track was to basically make a shortcut to a gold rush that had recently been found about 500 kilometers away. Now there was a train route going to the gold rush, but that took an extra two days. So he cut a shortcut and he did it in like a month. It was something ridiculous. Then uh, basically the track fell into disrepair over the century and the Land Cruiser Club of Western Australia came in and recut the track and they now look after it. The track will probably take us two or three days. We'll go nice and slow. It's about 390 kilometers long, this section of the track. And uh, it's known for basically bottomless bog holes in winter. And uh, it should be a really cool track for Angie and I to do in the mold solo. And uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it is. All right, and we've got already our first little mud hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna go across. We've got all our camera equipment with us in the cab. We've got a microphone ready. It's time to get the mug daddy. land has burned but the entire side of the track is looking like that it's been now like it's regrowing but yeah it's still quite sad so at this stage there's not many trees which i guess is good for us for the mob we don't have too many obstacles but we've got potentially the chainsaw or the boats already in case we need just to trim slightly the track yeah so far so good to share rock which is the first point of interest as you can see and yeah the mug is already looking a little bit dirty but not too bad only one mud hole so if you think we've done this morning Chris has removed the winch cover just in case to get prepared we have also deflated the tires what pressure are we running today 30 35 and another thing that we've done is we've removed the lock on the max tracks if you've seen that video where we got slightly stuck on that little dune in Esperance, that lock is definitely slowing us down to get the max tracks out. So that's a thing that we have improved in our recovery process. So far, track's nice. It's very, very slow going. We've only done like 11.8 <laughs> kilometers in probably about an hour. <laughs> so um, yeah, very, it's gonna be a slow day, but it's nice so far, really, really nice. And there's no one around. Zero. Yes, which is good to do that track at that time of the year. It's not too muddy, it's not too busy. It's still quite hot during the day. It's going to be around 30 degrees today. So I think that there's a lot of people who just go to the beach. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. All right, let's jump back in.
on my side. It's getting a bit narrow. It is getting narrower. It's sheer to everywhere. Yeah, that one is a bit big. Push the other one out of the way. We've only done 30 kilometers in the entire day.
actually quite huge and only for a drive we probably have some lifting wheel or struggle a little bit that's one thing that the mug really excel at not even in four wheel drive most of the time our main issue is the width day mm. well the mog has been well and truly massaged by every bush on the trail mm. just looked then can't see any damage at all apart from some more pinstripes on the windows to, which is to be expected the mog handled the track incredibly Ange and I not so much today I guess because we didn't really know what to expect we didn't expect what it was um, so to give some yeah relation I guess so we started at what 6 a.m. Uh, 7. 7 a.m. It is now about 5 and we did 47 kilometers. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Yeah, for a 350 kilometer track that's meant to take two to three days. Don't we're, mind it, it's going to take two weeks. <laughs> we're uh, going to set a new record, that's for sure. Hopefully that was the scratchiest part of the track mm. and that it opens up a bit. There's no way we could go faster. We would just end up just mm. not only butchering all the trees, but we would end up just smashing the mock to pieces so that yeah. was about all we could manage today yeah so that's the part that deflected like most of the tree branch the aluminium here we were just talking about it and we're just so glad we've got that because here even if you had a camber like a little bit less high or anything that would have not changed anything so we figured bar work on the cab wouldn't have done much today mm. It's really just maybe some bar work over the top of the camper so I don't stress about the uh, solar, solar panel. panels. Yeah, well, the most important part. But we were tall enough to... that wasn't an issue today at all. It's more just our windows. That's probably the part that's getting <laughs> hit the hardest. Yeah, let us know in a comment what you do with your windows. We might need to future-proof something with that. Yeah. Alright, that's just for today. That is us. We were going to have a fire, but I don't think we'll wait <laughs> no. till tomorrow. We'll just have showers and hit the hay, I think. I promise we'll be in better spirits tomorrow. We will be.
Good morning. We had an awesome night's sleep last night. We were completely alone, couldn't hear anything apart from the sounds of the crickets and now the parrots this morning. Really nice night sky last night. So it's, yeah, awesome, beautiful spot. Very warm yesterday, but nice and chilly this morning. So we've just had our coffee and then soon we'll have brekkie and hit the road again. My ankle is in a pretty bad shape on both sides of my ankle. Um, it was one I suspect I broke in Costa Rica quite a few years ago and it's always been a little bit dodgy it, it's always got a tendency to roll which I keep fighting and doing lots of training on but unfortunately I jumped out of the cab with too much gusto yesterday and I don't know landed in kind of like a ditch or a tree root I've gotten a nasty habit of skipping the uh, the last step on the mog so it ends up being a, a, a hefty jump which I like to do but that was a really bad choice. So yeah, today it's much more sore than it was yesterday and a bit swollen. So I don't think I'll strap it yet. I think I'll um, just put my shoes on. Hopefully with getting a bit of blood flow in will make it feel a lot better. So hopefully that won't slow me down too much. As long as I can clutch, we should be fine. All right, bring on day two. believe that we're in Port Gear. Oh, I know. First time. Unreal. I'm in fourth out of eight gears, finally. <laughs> so yeah, this part of the track is definitely more enjoyable than yesterday. It's a bit more open. It's a bit more scenic as well. Like a little bit uh, like bigger forest. I guess like nicer trees. So we're looking forward to see what's next. Alright, my helper. Go get it, Ange! Yeah! There have been a lot of fires here, so there's a lot of dead wood. Some of them fall over the trail. So she's just getting those. new export. Not a sprained ankle is gonna stop Chrissy Boy, that's for sure. So we almost at the guest book. We are hoping it represents like a halfway mark on the track. At least this is what we hope. We made it. <laughs> All right. Ta da! -da. Sick. <laughs> 
give something. A cold drink that is no longer be cold. Take something. <laughs> Make a zip toy. Thank you. That's gonna be handy. Sure that'll come in handy. <laughs> All right, now the outfit sticker. Oh, the Land Rover. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me. Oh. You weren't here to fight me. Oh. Okay. How many days ago was the last car? Five days. No J one around. JD and Rob. All right, 11th. Chris it and Ange. Is Chris and Ange. Oh, at least sign up Bowser as well, eh? That's only fair. He's doing most of the work anyway. And we have a fire! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, first time in a while, eh? First time in a while in a proper, a proper fire in the bush. Not in a campsite. So as you can see, we have set up camp. We've decided after roughly 75 kilometer driven today, that was enough. That was enough. And we were going to set up camp. So yesterday we did roughly 47 kilometers. So at least we've managed to pick up a little bit some pace today, which was good. Track was a little bit more enjoyable. Track was better. Yeah, track was way more enjoyable today. Less scratchy, less narrow. A bit that wider. Nice, actually. So um, it looks like a storm's brewing. I think tomorrow's meant to be rough. So hopefully it'll stay off long enough for us to be able to cook on this fire if you're fit yes as you can see the darkness over there we know in the forecast it's gonna rain and tomorrow is actually a storm and lightning so that will be interesting but yeah hopefully we get at least a few hours of nice enjoyment yeah. and a good feed <laughs> 